let's talk a little bit more about audio. So recently, I've been talking a lot about audio and I think I want to keep with that theme because audio is very important, especially with today's media. A lot of people are consuming more and more things, audio and video, and less in terms of text. Or if you're doing text, it's very, very short um, snippets. So audio has a special place in my heart because um, I was surrounded by a lot of audio in college with my classmates and uh, roommates being musicians and such. So I'm not a pro, but I do definitely know enough to get the quality sound that you're going to need if you're going to do some video or maybe some podcasting or some interviews for your purposes. Let's get started. So we're going to talk a little bit about the H2N, the Zoom H2N. I have a portable kit here that is pretty small and I like to use it uh, traveling, sort of like the other option that I showed with the Tascam DR10X and the um, AKG D5 setup, which was really portable. This is a little bit bigger, but it's just as convenient. This is just another option for, you know, getting your audio very clean. So let's take a look at it. So I have a basic Amazon case here. It's very small. It's about 11 inches by four inches by two inches. And it has everything I need to capture a great sound. So you'll see it's a nice conveniently little packed package of audio gear. We have, of course, the Zoom H2N. And we'll talk about that in a second. We have a Rycoat wind jammer, mini wind jammer for the recorder. We also have the Rycoat suspension lyre shock mount, as well as the Rycoat uh, cushioned hand grip. In addition, in the pouch on the side, we do also have the cord for remote record, stop, press, play, pause, marking. I don't use that often, but it is an option for people that don't want to touch the recorder at all and create any disturbance in the sound. So let's start with the Rycoat portable suspension, portable recorder suspension kit. It comes with this to stop with the, any kind of um, shock or shaking um, vibrations from where you're mounting it or placing it on a desk. You can use this to place it on a hot shoe or you can place it, uh, it's threaded. So you can use that to place it onto a quarter 20 adapter or quarter 20 threaded mount and have it on a boom pole or even a microphone stand. You can also take this off and attach it to the hand grip. And then you can always mount this on the bottom, which is why there's a three eighths inch adapter. And then you can go ahead and place this conveniently somewhere. But for this video, let's go ahead and take that off so I can um, stand it up and maneuver a little bit less noisy. So once you have that set up, you go ahead and put this recorder, the Zoom H2N right on here. That threads on nice and conveniently. Now you can place it sideways, facing sideways, or I like to put it like this since uh, most of the vibration control is back and forward and I tend to go like this. So um, it seems a little bit more secure for my purposes. And this, of course, goes over the microphone like so. And this prevents plosives, B -p. you know, um, any sounds, wind protection. So you have wind, you have shock mount uh, protection, and it could give you great audio. Now let's talk a little bit about how I employ this. Um, I pretty much use it just like how I explained that I use the AKG D5 and the DR10X. This is a little bit less mobile, like I said, but I actually like it better. It's actually a better sound. The DR10X has some noise issues. The AKG D5 uh, sounds great. I would love to have a dynamic microphone when I'm mobile. This is a condenser microphone, so the 
microphone is a little bit more sensitive, I tend to keep the gain set very low, think between three, four, or five, or maybe less, and get really close, like this, when I'm speaking into the microphone. And I'm speaking into this side of the microphone, the opposite from the screen, this side um, facing away from the screen is mono, a mid-side mic. As you can see here, there's a mid-side option. There's a four-way, a four-channel uh, surround sound and two-channel surround sound, I never use those. And then there's the XY. It would be great if I could use the XY and just look at the screen while I record. The problem is I bought this used and it does not really work. The XY mics have always given me trouble but I never found any reason to get rid of this recorder because it works so well for my purposes. I, I'm usually doing video and operating the camera, so I would tend to put this on top of the camera and let it get a surround feel, um, a stereo image, while maintaining the mono signal straight ahead. So I never really had a reason to get rid of it uh, because the XY microphones were so staticky. Um, but it would, again, it would be great. And when you get this new, those microphones do work great for voiceover. And you can just go ahead and speak right into it and monitor your levels right there on the screen. But for my purposes, I'm using it like this. And that's just as fine. I just use my ears, watch for the red clipping sign on the top, and I'm good to go. Let's go ahead and see how that uh, looks when you turn it on. You'll see it there. When it clips, it blinks, which is convenient. You also have the option to use this as a input for a lavalier or any other source that uses a 3.5 millimeter jack. Plug that bad boy in there and you're good to go. You also have a line out headphone out right here, as well as a remote, which I showed you a little while ago and I don't really use it. I'm usually operating this directly. The problem that I have with this Zoom H2N, not that it's broken, but that this gain control controls all the channels simultaneously. That's a problem if you're trying to record multiple sources. Let's say when you plug in the 3.5 millimeter source, this gain, this gain controls that source as well as any other mics that are live here, specifically the mid-side mic, because when you plug in this source, it eliminates or cancels out the XY configuration. So you can record two sources, but it's not ideal. It would have been better if they had two gain knobs here, so you can control two stereo sources at one time. But again, I haven't used it specifically because that's inconvenient for my purposes. But this is a great microphone for voiceover and let's see how that sounds right now. It's also a good microphone for doing interviews or placing on top of your camera. It is a little high on the camera. It sits a little high if you use it as a mount right here. I forgot to mention this Rycote system also lets you conveniently latch the wire leading from your output in the recorder and wrap it inside of here so it's secure and doesn't rattle. And then you can lead that to your camera and record in camera as well, which is really awesome. So they've thought of everything in terms of eliminating any possible noise issues. And I love this Rycote system. It is a little pricey. I paid just as much for this Rycote system as I paid for the recorder. So you're talking at least $125. It's a little steep, but like I said, I value clean audio as much as I can. And I'm still working on my audio to get it right. This is an example of what it sounds like, what it sounds like when I am using it as described. How do you like that sound? You get really close, you can do a nice little voiceover and you're good to go. Good for interviews, good for podcasting. It's a good source and let's see how it handles the noise. maybe some wind. I like it.
So there you have it, a nice little convenient setup for your podcast or for your interviews, man on the street, things related like that. I hope you enjoy it. If you want to see more or you have questions, feel free to reach out below in the comments. You can see me on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm all over the place. But again, YouTube is my favorite. What are you guys using for your audio solutions? How are you producing your podcasts? Keeping it small, you know, keeping with minimalism and all. Is anyone else out there doing something where there's not a lot of gear required and you want to record without a computer or without something big and bulky? Let me know. Talk to you guys later. Bye.